Welcome back, Scott Schiller for Ron Fitzpatrick Jeep Parts and Team G503 here on YouTube. Got a very special package in the mail this past week from a friend of mine on Instagram named Moreo. Moreo, I hope I pronounced your name correctly, but he was kind enough to send me this Brazilian army jacket with the smoking snake patch and the fifth army patch, of course. And if you're interested in this, I, I would encourage you to do so. Google the Brazilian Army during World War II and you'll find out exactly what those two patches mean. And it's a fantastic story, so I would encourage you to do that. Moreo and all my friends in Brazil, thank you. Salute, I love the jacket, it is absolutely beautiful. In this video, we will be installing the toolboxes on the 1943 Willis MB. There's a couple little variations between the four GPWs, but it's basically the same. It's just three screws on each side, but there's a little trick to getting underneath there and getting those fasteners in just the right way and so you can get them tight and I'll show you how to do that in this video. Check it out, I think you'll enjoy it. Let me first give you the locations of the holes that are drilled just in case you don't have them. There's three holes and I'm going to take my tape measure and set it right there at the crease that starts just before the front side so we'll pull our measurements from there. And the measurement to the first hole is 2 and 3 eighths, the second 5 and 13 sixteenths and the last is 9 and 3 sixteenths. And then measuring off the side of the tub the centers are 15 sixteenths of an inch with a hole size of 13 sixty-fourths. The bolt size is 10 24 by 3 8 of an inch and it's the round head slotted style. You'll need three for each side of your toolbox, one on the passengers, one on the drivers. You'll also need the coinciding lock washer and the nut. These are difficult to find. I want to kind of interject here while I'm doing this. Ron Fitzpatrick Jeep Parts carries a lot of the correct fasteners that you will need for your MB or GPW project. It's hard sometimes to go to local hardware stores and find exactly what you're looking for as modern fasteners are not made back when they were like they were back in the day. So what I'm doing here is I'm just centering those holes over the holes in the tub. And again, these little fasteners are kind of fun to do here. So we'll recenter it again and start over. And what I'm going to do is leave this as flat as I can for now. And then I'm going to insert the screws into the top of the holes. I'm going to put all three of them in and they're, they're a little difficult to line up. Those tolerances are not really loose. It's not meant to be loose. The box has to close on so it can latch correctly. So once you get all three of these screws into the top side of this hinge, then we can lift up the top of the toolbox lid and reach underneath with our hand and we'll take a lock washer and a nut and we'll fasten them to each one of the screws. I'm holding this screw on the outside with my hand and my fingers as I put the lock washer and nut on. Just hold it in place. Put the lock washer and nut as close you can as to tight with your hand and that'll make it really easy when you've got to get inside that small area with a ratchet and a socket and a screwdriver to make them nice and tight. Once you've got all three fasteners, lock washers and nuts installed, we'll go ahead and we'll take a small quarter inch drive ratchet with a 3 8 inch drive socket and then a slotted screwdriver. Make sure that slot fits nice into those holes so you don't damage those threads. You open up the toolbox a little bit and you can keep your arm in here. And what I like to do is I like to clock my fastener heads in order. So I'm going to make these lengthwise to the actual toolbox lid itself. I know that probably wouldn't have been correct the way they would have done it from the factory. I just think it looks nice and makes you look like you got a nice neat professional job. So I'll hold those screw heads in, in line and then from the bottom side once I get them tight here I'll just give them one last snug with the ratchet and they would be tight enough and they're not going to come out and make your toolbox lid flop all over the place. We'll get this last one here tightened up and in line and then I'll show you how this is going to close. Now when I first open this back up and I'm going to open it and close it and show you what I'm talking about here. I've got all my bolt heads in line there just how I like it. You see that little spring goes back and forth? That's because it's a brand new felt seal that I've just installed in there if you saw the videos. In the next video I'm going to show you how to install the locking mechanism and adjust that latch. But for now I'm going to scuff this up one more time and shoot that last coat of paint. Those toolbox lids were one of the last things I wanted to get on that tub before I gave it the final paint coat, go around, scuff it down, wash it up one time, and get that tub finally ready to start installing the fuel lines and the electrical system, and then we can get it back on the chassis. I know you've been patient with it. It takes a long time to do this and film this, and I, and I love every second of it, and I enjoy it, and thank you so much for all who could subscribe and like the videos and watch. Again, my friends in Brazil, Moreo, this is a beautiful, fantastic coat, and I will wear it with pride and honor. I think it's wonderful. I'll keep it right here in the Team G503 garage in Charleston, South Carolina. Until next time, my friends, especially to y'all in Brazil, keep it safe and happy jeeping.